Hey guys, what's up? It's Kermer S, and welcome to your Rag and Bowman quest guide for the 2007 servers. For this quest, you need a tinderbox, a rope, eight logs, which you can light, eight pots, eight coins, a light source, and additionally, you're going to need combat gear to kill an assortment of different monsters ranging up to level 27. You should also bring with you teleports to Lumbridge, Adrogana, Camelot, Varrock, Musa, Musa Point, and Draenor. For that, I'll be using tabs to Adrogana and Camelot. I'll be using uh, just spell runes to go to Varrock. I'll be using an Amulet Glory with at least two charges to go to Musa Point and Draenor. Also, if you have the Slayer level for a Spiny Helm, that would also help you out. And Stamina Potions and Energy Potions may speed up this quest as there's a fair bit of running. I will also be bringing some sharks with me, although it's overkill uh, as we're going to be killing these monsters. Alright, to begin this quest, we need to head to the Rag and Bone Man, who is located just east of Varrock. Once here, go ahead and speak to him. Ask anything I can do to help, option 1. Say yes, option 1. Let's go ahead now and teleport to Adrogana, or Ardi. Everybody hates how I pronounce that. Uh, let's go ahead and make our way to Ardi here and then run east towards the mine. Here you'll find some bears. Go ahead and attack them until you get bear ribs. It could take multiple attempts before they drop them, so keep that in mind. But once you have them, let's go ahead and continue on north. Up towards the Legend Guild. Once here, go ahead and attack the giant bat, simply north of the legend guild. And we need to kill these until we get a giant wing. Once again, it can take multiple attempts for the drop to happen, uh, and that continues for all of these monsters. Alright, once you have that, let's go ahead now and teleport to Camelot, and simply run a little bit east, until we run into the unicorns. And we need to get heal these until we get their bone. Unicorn bone, go ahead and take that. Now let's go to Lumbridge. Let's head now north towards the sheep pen. First, there will be some goblins around. We need to find one that is of level 2 and kill it. And take the goblin skull. Now let's head into the sheep pen here. And inside the sheep pen there should be a few rams. We need to find a ram and kill it. Here's one now. I didn't get one that time, but if you don't, just keep trying until you get one. And eventually you will get a ram skull as a drop. Let's go ahead now and continue outside of the sheep pen back towards the goblins. And we need to make our way all the way down this um, little path here uh, until we get to the end of the little lumberch swamp fence. 
So we'll eventually come across a tree symbol very close on the map here. Once there, start heading south. And then go around the, around the fence, past the Lost City quest start. Once you see some blue, start heading up east towards it. And you'll see a danger sign on your map. Once here, go ahead and use your rope on the dark hole. And climb down the dark hole. If you have your spiny helm, go ahead and equip it now. If not, or, and then once it's equipped or whatnot, uh, start running uh, west. Once you get um, to the end of the wall here, head south and kill one of the big frogs. Go ahead and take the big frog lag. Let's go ahead now and teleport to Krumja. I'm going to be using my glory to get there. Uh, just go ahead and get yourself there. If you did use a glory from the plantation, we simply need to run a little bit west. This will be our second last monster, which we need to acquire a bone from. We're looking for a level three monkey. And once you've found one, go ahead and get it. Take the monkey paw and let's go ahead now and make our way to Draenor Village. After this we just need to get a rat which is something like level 5 or 8. Shouldn't be too hard uh, so go ahead and let's bank our food and get some vinegar while we're here which we'll need later on in the quest. Oops. To get this, go ahead and trade Frutunuto, however you pronounce that guy's name. My apologies, go ahead and actually speak to him. And now Vinegar will be in the shop. Go ahead and buy eight of these. Let's return to the bank. Let's go ahead now and take out our eight pots. So to do this, you might need to put some bones away, but that's fine. We're going to be staying at the bank here. So just go ahead and take out those eight pots and use your vinegar on all eight of these pots. Once done, go ahead and put the jugs away. Take out the bones and use each bone on a pot of vinegar. Keeping your spare one here. Make sure you bring with you now a Varrock teleport as we'll be using that. And if you have a spiny helm on you, we don't need that anymore. Let's go ahead now and teleport to Varrock. Bones and vinegar in hand, along with our one pot of vinegar. You also didn't need your light source anymore, uh, forgot to put it away, whatever. Um, so yeah, once at Varrock, go ahead and head north to the manhole. Open the manhole. And climb down. Once in here, kill any of the giant rats. And take the giant rat bone. And use that on your pot of... Let's go ahead now and return to the Varrock East Bank. Just climb up the ladder here. And let's make our way south. And just go east into the bank. All we need is our tinder box. Take those eight logs out now. Your tinder box, all eight bones and vinegar, and the eight logs. You may want to bring a stamina potion with you too. Let's now head east. 
And then north, we're returning to the Bone Man, or the Rag and Bone Man. Once here, we need to go ahead and you see this pop boiler, go ahead and use your log on it, then use one of the bone and vinegar, and then use the tinder box. After a short moment, you'll be able to take the pot off. Remove bone and this will give you a nice clean bone. Go ahead and repeat this process for every one of these bones in vinegar. And once you've finished that for all eight bones in pot, go ahead and speak to the odd old man. And that will be quest complete. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, love peace and chicken grease.